Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Perhaps you may have an issue, concern, or problem where you are looking for a sign from the universe, perhaps a another perspective, a new way of looking at it. Or you may simply allow your mind to settle within your heart, darling, and let this re reading resonate with your spirit. I'm going to go over three three cards and give you my daily inspirational oracle reading. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra. And her message to you is, ask your body what it needs to feel wealthy. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra, our sacral chakra, our pleasure center, darling. And her message is do it now. And the last card I have for this daily inspirational oracle reading is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, again, who represents our second chakra, who represents our pleasure and our creativity, which is one of her major um, areas. Spontaneity is the cure for everything. So the big picture message that I have for you is that whatever you're, hmm, how do I say this? If you're working on something that isn't working, the universe is asking you to try something new, but to do and to do it now, like change, like bring about a change. The magic is in the magic is in the moment, but the magic is also in making these changes immediately. Now, Jungle Beauty Goddess Sayana represents the second chakra, which is responsible for our creativity and our production. You know, it's even though it's a reproduction. It, it could be a baby, it could be a book, it could be a video, it could be um, anything. Because you're building, you're creating something. So if you're working on something right now and you have been kind of thinking like, I don't understand why this isn't working, or why things are just stalled. The, the energy that I'm picking up is because it's time for you to do something spontaneous. But, it, but listen, this is the trick. This is a trick. It has to be something fun, and it has to be something joyful. It has to be something that you feel passionate about. It can't be something that you just feel like, oh yeah, let me try blue. No, it wants you to bring in the joy. If it's not about results or the outcome or other people, it is really about you right now finding your joy and bringing that joy to whatever project that you're working on even if it's for school but it want but for you to take whatever you're working on to the next level you really need to and um, bring in the, the passion bring in the joy bring in it's like if you're not excited about it then it's not gonna work you need to be excited about whatever you're working on okay so this ties into the card we have for you from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara which says ask your body what it needs to feel wealthy now i want to tell you what is really interesting about this card now jungle beauty goddess katara who is sitting right here behind us darling her message she represents our root chakra now when you think of your root chakra i want you to think of your roots you know that connects you to your purpose to the planet to your body right your mission on this planet your mission in this incarnation so when you think about roots in order for something to blossom and to grow right it has to be in soil that is rich in nutrients it has to have the right weather conditions right it can't you know you don't want to have toxins like mercury or whatever in the soil so in order for something to to blossom and and to flourish and to grow and to be healthy then it means that you have to make sure that you are in an environment you are around the right people you are eating the right foods you are t doing all of the things to take care 
of your root chakra so that your root chakra which is which is actually remember it's like your you know see your your spiritual roots right connecting you to the planet if you're around people who are telling you what you can't do or people who are distracting you if you are um, in an environment that that does not support your highest aspiration or your you know how sometimes you may see yourself in a certain way but the people around you are telling you oh, I can't see you in law school or I can't see you doing this if you're around people who don't see the highest and best version of you then this energy will strangle your roots it stops you from blossoming and I know a lot of times people um, think yeah you can overcome it but you can actually flourish so much better in an environment where people are actually supporting you so we have the card to say and ask your body what it needs to feel wealthy what do you need to do right now to feel like you have everything you need do you need to change your diet do you need to change your friends do you need to um, maybe watch how much TV you are consuming. What do you need to do right now to make yourself feel wealthy? Now, for me personally, for me to feel wealthy, I need to write. I need to work on my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. I need to sew and I need to make dolls. When I am doing those, those two things, I feel like a billionaire. Because even if I had everything in the world, I would still want to do it. That is how you know you're doing something that, where you feel wealthy. Because even if you had all the money in the world, you would still do it. And these, so once you figure out how to feel supported by the universe, feel to feel like your needs are being met, right? Your physical needs are being met. Your, you know, the food you're eating, the information that you're taking in, the people who are surround, who are around you, the actual environment that you're in. Now, once you've taken care of all of those things, now you need to worry about your creativity. Because really right now we're talking about bringing your magic into the world, your brand of magic into the world. And in order for you to do that, you really need to bring in your joy your happiness um, and what make you feel you know like a childlike and what make you you know what the things that you do that make you feel extremely passionate and and fun and no matter how I don't care if it's listening to rap music or um, painting or drawing it's all about you feeling extremely like extremely joyful in your life happy um, you know what I'm saying those type of feelings so you want to look at what's making you feel wealthy in terms of you know your environment and what is feeding your roots you know what's you know the comments the food actual food your environment everything around you is helping you to blossom or is causing you to stagnate so when you look in your environment do you feel like your environment is actually positioning you and giving you the spiritual nutrients you need to grow as a person um, yeah so remember the magic is in the moment whatever brings you pleasure is going to bring you well now wealth is a really funny thing because a lot of people only associate wealth with money but if you are in a marriage and you're very unhappy, you may have money, but if you're crying yourself to sleep or if you're feeling so depressed, then okay, how wealthy is that? Or are you going to work every day to a job that you detest? So when you're thinking about wealth, don't forget that, you know, wealth, you need to define it for yourself. And if your only description, if your only definition is a, a number amount, darling, I promise you that you're going to be in for a big surprise. So start thinking, this, this is why you have the card that says, ask your body 
what it needs to feel wealthy because when you get money money only magnifies what you already have it might you know so if you're happy you're just going to be happy in a bigger house and maybe a nicer car but it's not going to make you happy you know what I'm saying so this is why it's so important and this is why we have the car from Sinai about pleasure and being spontaneous and finding the magic in our lives because that joy of creating what you love and planting it you know in the right environment where you're blossoming and flourishing this is going to bring you the wealth and prosperity that you came to earth to enjoy I really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you darling in the next video.